Yo what's up YouTube Camps here and today I'm finally bringing out the second part of my pen tool tutorial um, and what I'm going to show you is how you can customize some text to your custom logo um, and in the third part I'm going to show you how you can make a logo totally from scratch um, but it's the third part I think this is probably easier for you guys now and uh, yeah so let's get it started just use a normal text and now right click the text rasterize type and use the rectangular marquee tool and make a layer we are cut at the T well, I'll just make it like this it's easier layer we are cut over, layer we are cut over here uh, layer we are cut over here just to cut out every single letter Like this. Um, okay, one more. Okay. So this would actually be you got your uh, tutorial text. I don't need this anymore. So you got all the letters in here as one layer. So with what you're gonna start is just getting the T layer more to this U layer uh, it's this one and I'm getting the other T on here as well like this should look good so what I'm going to do now is basically just I'll zoom in a bit um, it's basically just get 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 looking good over here um, and this I'm just gonna use the pan tool I'm gonna cut out something down here like this. Um, make a selection, go under U layer and cut it off. Now make just something like this to cut this out. Make a selection again and switch to this tool, to rectangular marquee tool. And make a layer we are cut. Now just move this layer and the T layer more to this side, I like it a bit more if the U isn't that big, get me? So just like this probably. Um, now you have these two U layers, just select them both and merge the layers. Um, go to the pen tool, um, like somewhere here, just make a straight line, go around it, make a selection again. Um, make sure you're actually on the U layer and then just cut this off. Looks pretty cool now. Um, but to get this looking better, just go on the T layer and make a selection of this one. Go to the, to the rectangle marquee tool and just make a layer with a copy. Oh, okay, I was on the wrong T layer. <laughs> Uh, layer we a copy and I'll just move it over until it's closed like this um, and merge it with the first T layer like this um, and now I want the U looking a bit better just uh, make like a short small thing in here like this make a selection Make sure you're in the U layer, get rid of it, deselect it. This looks good now. I mean, it looks better than before. And um, if you want to have, like, on the T, I'll just merge them together, both T's. Um, if you want to have, like, uh, oh, I'm already in the pen tool. It, wow, okay. Um, like over here so uh, if you want to have it on this on the same like if you want to have something like this in here as well just go ahead and make a selection here again and I'll just get rid of it um, and it looks like this so I kinda like this one 
um, because you don't really see which font it was. Um, by the way, the font was uh, Bank Gothic MDBT. Okay, back to the pen tool, and now go and select the O layer, move it over like somewhere like here. Now I'm just gonna hold down Control and click that picture in front of the layer and now I'm going to the T layer and just press delete going back to the O layer move it a bit away and it's like you see this looks pretty cool um, another thing I'm going to do is just cut out the middle of it again then it's getting smaller make a selection make sure you're in the O layer delete it well, so this is kind of full of fails at the moment. Well, <laughs> but anyway, um, just uh, make a selection again and make a layer we are cut and move the layer over to here, like this. Now merge the layers. And I want to get something like this in here again as well. So just get a s sh small break in here. This was too much. Make a selection of it. I'm going to move the selection to the middle. Should be here. Press delete if you're on the O layer. And it looks like this. So now use the R layer and I'm going to get rid of this stuff. Just use the rectangle marquee tool and yeah, cut it off like this. I have this R. Um, I just cut it off too much of the like here. Just want to cut off a bit less than when I did last time, like so probably. I don't know. Okay, I'm doing it a different way. Like I'm going to make this longer over here. Like just use the pen tool again. Make a selection. Go to the rectangular marquee tool, and make a layer we. No. Make a layer we copy and move it a bit like this merge it together with the R like this move it over here like so um select the O by clicking control and uh press control and click that image make sure you are on the R layer, sorry, that is actually my phone. Worst ringtone ever, but yeah. <laughs> so, um, wow, shut up. Okay, um, let's just click delete and deselect this again, and now move the R a bit to like the same. That, yeah, that looks like the same over here, like this. Uh, and then you just come to the I A L, which are the last letters we have in here. Um, the problem about the I is you can't really play that much with it because it's just a line. Um, but if you want to play with it, just like go and um. Wait, just get it somewhere over here, but like the R, the R and the I don't really match that you could play with it. So I'll just get it on this one here. Um, I'll just make a selection of the I, go to the R, and get rid of this stuff down here. Now move it away again like this you can't really play with the i and the the r 
that's like the wrong font to play with them but yeah now I'm coming to the A and I'm just gonna make a selection of the I I'm gonna get rid, rid of this stuff here of the A now move the A a bit to this side like so and now the last thing I'm gonna do is getting the L somewhere like to the middle of the A make a selection of the L and make sure you're on the A layer press delete and get the L like so now I'm just getting rid of this just use the rectangle marquee tool make sure you're on the A layer delete this deselect and move the L back here like I was probably too much cut off of this but it's just to show you how you could play around with some letters of a normal text like this I think it looks pretty cool um, we made out of normal text this one I can make the text over here again tutorial like that was the text we started with and that's how we ended up like it's a whole difference you don't really see that it's this font anymore so you just customize your font um, and made your own logo kinda and now if you want to you can use the pen tool and um, add some stuff on the bottoms or on there like just here well, just click here hold down shift click here and here now make sure you're on black you're on the T layer right click and fill the path delete the path now it has kinda like this look um, same you could make over here that it's the same then at the beginning of it um, here here and here I don't make it perfect now because well I'm not on the L layer I don't make it perfect now because it's just a tutorial and I just show you how you could make this so if you make your own logo just spend more time in it I mean if I do a quick logo for like logos like this for a customer or a background um, I always spend about I don't know probably 20 or 30 minutes on it um, because I want to have it perfect when someone buys something from me um, so just keep your time, spend time on making it um, and yeah that would actually be from me um, I hope you enjoyed this pretty much everything you cut it off with the pen tool you can also do with the polygonal lasso tool or the rectangular marquee tool if it's a straight line um, but like I like the pen tool more because you can also make like roundness stuff this and could get now rid of of this stuff again um like just make a selection now go to the T layer and press delete so you got this this round ending you could just play around with that however you want to do um and I hope you enjoyed this uh I hope you will leave a like and a comment um and sorry if I sounded like kinda depressed or something but I'm kinda ill or oh, I don't know if you know that in, in uh, England or something if you have like um, oh, I don't know how, how you explain it just uh, if you're allergic against uh, trees and flowers and stuff I don't know if you know that but I have this it's probably going over yeah from from May to about August or something like that it's pretty annoying um, yeah that's why I always sound like kind of depressed or kind of like um, have a closed nose, a nose or something like that. Um, but yeah, that's it to, for this. Um, I hope you will leave a like and a comment. And also, if you haven't subscribed my channel, please go and subscribe it. Also, follow my Twitter. I'll put a link in the description. Um, that would be. I hope you like this and part 3 is coming probably next week or something I'm gonna make a gameplay commentary at this weekend again and at the beginning of next week uh, another tutorial and then after that part 3 of pencil tutorial so yeah I'm out peace